Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe if you enjoy my readings. This is a channel for Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. Personal reading link is in the description box below this video. And I am running a special for December, so do go and grab that before the month is up. Alright Virgos, how's everybody doing? We're going to take a look at your weekend. What are your weekend messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? This will be for December 15th through the 17th. Also, you can subscribe to my OnlyFans where I have uncensored tarot readings. Just go to that link in the description box, my link tree. Everything is there. All right, Virgo, let's take a look at your weekend. See what messages are playing out here for you for the weekend. Virgo, sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Well, you started with the High Priestess. Okay. So, Virgo, it looks like the High Priestess... Oh, shit. The Empress and the Four of Swords. That's my bedroom card. Virgo. Yeah, I feel like you're hibernating this weekend. Maybe? A little bit? I don't know. Either that or you are doing something secret to yourself. Some R&R. &R. Did I just say doing something secret to yourself? Okay. TMI. Keep that to yourself. But um, you're working on yourself this weekend. Okay? You might be spending some time with... Um, two other women as well okay <laughs> maybe for those of you who like women might be sleeping around okay whatever um i don't know for sure but maybe you're dating but i mean the bedroom card is here this reading is going this way isn't it like i'm trying for it not to go this way i don't know why maybe because it's not censored but or because we are censored here on youtube but let me refresh and start over. Let me reboot, please. Okay. So many messages just with these three cards. So many. Let's split it up. Okay. First of all, Virgo, I do feel like you're doing um, something for yourself this weekend. I mean, we're going to get your hair done. You're going to go shopping. You're, you're working on your beauty. Okay. If you have a beauty routine, you're, you're stepping it up this weekend. Okay. Um, there is an element here of, um, hush, hush, keep it down now, voices carry. You're not telling us, you're not saying something. You're keeping something very hush, hush. Even the Four of Swords is quiet. Quiet, no, no speaking. Um, some of you aren't telling, um, maybe a mother figure or another woman, um, a secret that you're keeping. Okay. Let me just say this, there's silence, there's quietness, there's secrets, and a, and a, a huge, a huge uh, being all about yourself, okay? Um, <laughs> I have to say it. Some of you are just, I touch myself. Da -na 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 -da -da. Do you remember that song? <laughs> is that the right, are those the right lyrics? Um, oh my God, that is such an old song. Yeah, I forget how it goes, but yeah, some of you are just having fun with things by yourself this weekend. I'm like a 10 year old. Stop. All right, move on. All right, show me the high priestess. What a fun weekend for you. Um, there's definitely some enjoyment in bed. I will say that, okay? So I'm trying to keep it really PG here. That's why I have to go over to my OnlyFans. It's not PG over there, okay? It's not. All right, let's see. Four ninety nine a month. Okay, you've got justice. Oh my God, naughty and nice. I can tell you already. Like they're not going to let me not do this. They're not going to let me not do this. And in fact, this might even be worse than the OnlyFans reading that I just did for the week. But oh, Virgo, <laughs> you're being bad. Virgo, you're being bad this weekend. <laughs> you are. You are like. Virgo, sometimes I think that you make everyone think you're a goody two shoes, goody goody two shoes. You don't drink, you don't smoke, what do you do? Yeah, I feel like you make people think that you're a goody two shoes. Okay, it's one of two ways. You're either giving off that vibe that you are an angel when you're really not. You're like, you can get down and dirty like any better than anybody. It's either that or it's the opposite. You have this 
sexual magnetism or this thing about you where you act like you're the bad boy bad girl but you really are just like you do the right thing and you're you're righteous and you're 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 just and you don't you sleep by yourself and you just give off the impression either you're doing that or or people are viewing uh, there's confusion i will tell you that people people cannot tell and especially this weekend i feel like somebody's going to be wondering about you like they're conflicted because Virgo's either like super super nice or are they naughty or is Virgo super naughty but they're nice somebody's conflicted you're keeping a secret about this you're not you're not letting anybody know what you're doing I don't know if it was some kind of game you know um yeah you okay king of swords wow king of cups wow the emperor wow and the knight of wands okay there's some people okay you can switch the genders here masculine or feminine but there's some people or if you don't switch genders and you're the same it's fine um super highly crazy attracted to you over this weekend what the what are you doing somebody's like putting on some pheromones or something i don't know some dogs or cats are in heat what's going on but you've got some attention over this weekend virgo and they people want to find out how naughty you are or how nice you are you know who it is santa claus he's coming to your house first he's like ooh. You better watch out. You better not pout. You better not cry. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list and checking it twice. Gonna find out if you're naughty or nice. Okay, Virgo. Enough with the drama. Theatrics. Hey, yes. That's it. That's it. It, it wanted, like, I was trying to, like, I don't know, railroad this whole reading, right? But seriously, and I feel like it does kind of resonate with the, the OnlyFans reading that I that I put up um, for this week. It does kind of, so go over there. There's more for that, more of this over there. But yeah, you've got some suitors for sure. Okay, should we keep going? Should we keep going? Everybody give me a thumbs up if we should keep going here. I think we should keep going. Okay, what a weekend this is going to be. And, and you know why? You know why, Virgo? Because I don't, it's because... I don't know you're coming out looking like this like this is a beauty queen I don't care if you're masculine I don't care it's whatever you're just getting noticed for taking good care of yourself I mean some of you are thick some of you are thick and attractive like your thickness maybe it's your butt maybe it's your butt I don't know but it feels like flirty and it feels like fun and Virgo's basically like what are you talking about I mean I've just been laying in my bed praying to Jesus like I'm not what people think like I go to church yeah I'm a sure I went to Catholic school sure I was that girl our guy <laughs> okay enough I've done so many readings this week I'm burned out I think that's what's going on so yeah, this weekend, um, uh, you're going to be getting some knocks at your door. Somebody's going to be sliding down your chimney. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> your chimney. You get it? Your pole? Sliding down your pole? Your chimney? I don't know. A fireman, maybe? <gasps> oh, my gosh. There might be an, a, a fire. A fire fighter. It's a fire fighter who's super attracted to you. Or a fighter. Maybe they're a boxer. But, um, oh my gosh, maybe both. Okay. Wow. Judgment. Everybody's naked on this card. What is happening to me? So, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm, I'm, they're giving me images of like a sauna or oh, just a regular bathtub or a sauna, um, a steam room. Okay. Okay. So, coming out into the open what is coming out into the open here what is being revealed virgo what the f what is it? okay oh my gosh okay all right why not um if if any of you guys are thinking of doing one of those lingerie spreads um or being 
a photographer for lingerie spreads, you know, um, what do they call that? Uh, I was going to say bidet, but that's a thing that like cleans your, when you go to the bathroom. No, um, bourgeois, bourgeois, I forget what it's called because that's me, but there's getting paid to put some pictures out there or do a spread or be a photographer for someone that is going to be, um, if you're look, if you're like a photographer and you're looking to do like a calendar for someone or a, a spread or something, you're going to get paid well for that. I just heard. Um, and if you are looking to be the subject of the camera eye, yes, you'll get paid well. And it doesn't have to be nude. It could just be sensual photos. I mean, it, you know, it could be either, but, um, you might have this in your mind. You might be thinking about this, kind of keeping that to yourself secret, not telling an elder or someone about it, doing something. This could be part of doing something for yourself over this weekend, or maybe I'm planting that idea and now you're going to think about it because you might work out some money and get some nice photographs done of yourself. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, and hmm, Knight of Cups. What? Maybe you're going to get them done for your honey, um, for their eyes only. If you have a special, an SP somewhere, um, well, that person's going to ask to marry you for sure. If you give that as a gift for Christmas or whatever, um, Hanukkah, maybe. So, um, I can, I, uh, listen, I will definitely say it's a lot of money. It's going to cost a lot of money to do this thing if you're thinking of doing it and you might break the bank, but it will be so worth it. Okay. Like, why is it going to cost you money? Because you might have to hire a photographer or something like that. Um, if you're the one on the other end of the camera lens, you're going to make a lot of money doing it. Okay. Um, now it's crazy because usually you get paid to do that. Don't you? You wouldn't lose money. Um, you could, that's what they're saying. It's not going to cost you a lot of money. It's if you're in a position of, um, your finances aren't looking so good. Sorry, I had it backwards. I'm a, my mouth is going before my brain and the message is if you are broke <laughs> or you need the money and you're not just going to give it to someone special, you might get found out and discovered. And I know some of you are like, I'm 65. I don't care. Beauty is beauty. It doesn't matter how old you are. You look good at any age. Be proud of yourself. Um, there will be money at the end. Ten of Pentacles here for this, for the weekend. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Our little Christmas gift to the family. Hey, nip slip in the, uh, remember that Seinfeld episode? Um, Elaine had the nip slip in her <laughs> Christmas card. Oh, that might be you, Virgo. All right, let me see what else is going on. I can't even believe this reading's going this way. It's hilarious. Let's see. Okay, you've got the magician. Oh, that reminds me of that song. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to sing it because it I couldn't. It's a Living Newton John and it's from the 80s. It's called Magic. Does anybody remember that song? Give me a thumbs up if you remember that. You have to believe we have magic. Nothing can stand in our way. So I, I said I wasn't going to sing it, but I did. So yeah, Page of Cups. Okay, listen, I'm telling you, like, apart from this whole lingerie photographer sesh whatever's going on you have suitors okay and someone's coming in to make a love offer over this weekend okay love offer like even going to propose somebody's coming in here this is your magic person your magic person that song seems to be stuck now in my head okay um did you leave someone out in the cold? Did you dump someone or did you just tell someone or just ignore? Um, no, this person's like, yo, Virgo, it's freezing cold out here. Can I come in and nestle in your breast, please? Because I am freezing. Can I, can we just cuddle? Can we spoon? Uh, all right. This feels like if that Ace of Cups with the hot chocolate and mini marshmallows show up, I'm telling you right now, hot cocoa fire okay well there it is with the two of you there is love is happening this weekend i don't give an f about finances right everybody's broke it's not going to get better until things change so we'll deal with it as of right now you got love you've got you've got drooling love happening here i don't know what you're doing like i said maybe you are going to do a little bit of that um i can't think of 
that damn word. <laughs> I want to say bonjour, but it's not that. It's it's that kind of like French lingerie photography, right? Even for the guys, go ahead. Some of you might be selling pictures of your feet. I don't know what you're doing. But there is a, definitely a coupling happening here for sure. Um, somebody of, of your suitors, whether they're photographers or models, uh, of your suitors, you're going to choose one. I don't know who. You're going to have quite a few offers, but you're, one of them is going to be a very magical connection. Let me see. Let's take a look and see if we can see. You had the King of Swords and you had the King of Cups. Okay. Where's the King of Swords? I know some of you are like, I don't want to know nothing about that King of Swords. Well, not all of you had a bad experience with the King of Swords. We're going to see. I know he's probably sitting right under my nose, but I can't see it. There he is. There he is. King of Swords right there. Okay. I'm making a mess of this table. Deal with it. And the Emperor. Okay. Let's put them all in there. Because I'm going to give you the final answer. Okay. Let's get these out of the way. Here you go, you guys. And you're like, why don't you just pick up the cards? Well, I can't. All right. Who's Virgo going to choose? Would be the King of Swords, door number one. The King of Cups, door number two. Or the Emperor, door number three. One, two, three. All right, King of Swords. Whoa, you've got the Four of Wands. Well, that's your 1111. That's your Twin Flame. That is um, mm, Reunion. That's long. That's a happy, happy ever after there. King of Cups. Oh, shit. You got success with the King of Cups. Yeah, you have like <clears throat> feeling like you're on top of the world. And the Emperor? Well, I don't think you're going with the Emperor. No, I don't think you are. So now you've got two. Now you're going to have two. Now I know some of you already know the energy and you're calling it out. <clears throat> we'll do one more just to see which one is going to be the best one for Virgo. Water or air? Water or air for Virgo. Okay, three of cups. The water is determined. The water is... So it looks like the air sign is kind of like, well, it's just fun. And we'll get together over the holidays, flirting, dating, fun. The water looks like, no, nope, you're mine. That's it. That's the deciding factor. Um... The water, yeah, Knight of Swords, that's go, taking charge and going after what they want, and that's you. So it's, it doesn't look like it's going to be a choice you make. It's going to be like, may the best man or woman win. Yeah, whoever fights the hardest, whoever comes in with that bloody stump. And here's the Knight of Swords coming in with that knife to just, shh. if you haven't been here last year, um, bloody stumps means, and I haven't said it in a while, but it, it basically means anyone um, who is going to come in and show up, they'll do anything because the love is real and strong and, the, and they want to make it work, that they'll do it. They'll even cut off their leg and come in with a bloody stump <laughs> for you. Yeah, so there you go, Virgo. That's exciting. <laughs> Let's get other messages here for you. Okay, so you have the Nine of Wands. Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, and the Devil. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. All right, so let me just say this. Okay, Virgo, if you're doing that photography gig, be careful. Be careful with that. Um, if you only mean for that to be for providers. To you. If you only mean for that to be for someone's private eyes, make sure you see to it. Because if it gets found out, um, I mean, yeah, people are going to, it's going to spread like a disease. Um, keep that under lock and key, I feel. 
or uh, find a way to make sure that it is not something that you could couldn't live with if were out if it were out there. Think about it that way. If this were out there, if you put photographs out there and you got paid for it, and, and but you were putting it for something specific, and then somehow it got out there into the wrong hands. Would you be able to live with that? That's a question. Now, maybe this isn't for you. This could be for somebody else connected to you. But you know what, Virgo? It is for you because it's your reading. So whatever you're putting out there, <laughs> whether you're getting paid or not, hopefully you are because don't ever put pictures, anything nude of yourself out there unless you're going to get paid. Believe me, um, do something that is going to be worth it because you don't know who could grab a hold of that right it could land in the wrong hands i feel like i'm speaking to the ladies because i don't think the guys would really probably care maybe they would but um definitely i'm speaking to the majority of the feminines here um because there is a possibility that well it's not a possibility to get i don't feel like don't do it because somebody could get a hold of it just be very discerning if you're going to do that okay God, the way these readings go you would think and i do a reading every single day just well, when I'm on when I'm not on vacation or something comes up, but it went from here every day. You would think that how is she able to come up with these messages every single day? Like I'm not that creative to create stories. This stuff comes to me out of the blue, and you know, a lot of the time they're so different. Okay, so you have the six of or six of pentacles. There's look, there you go. There's your hot chocolate with mini marshmallows and a candy cane, Virgo. Um, Hot chocolate by the fire, a romantic. Huh. Some of you, um, if you're in a snowy area over the weekend, um, is there snow where you live? Somebody's going to come in and um, offer a snow plow or shovel. Um, maybe you'll give them some hot chocolate or buy them a coffee for doing the hard work. But um, it could be some kids, you know, you might be generous and give something generous to them for helping um but for others you could i, I don't know if they're going to be act, actually like snow plowing or shoveling but whether it's your place or their place um there's a spark of love that like um a little this feels like a different message um there's like um i don't know a love spark that happens so uh, they're just so they're giving me this scenario like you are you're out there shoveling your driveway, okay? If there's snow, this is for those of you who have snow, you're out there shoveling your driveway, and then, like, you see someone down the street shoveling their driveway, and you start helping, or they start helping you, and then uh, you wanna come in for hot chocolate or coffee, or it, something happens, and it feels like a strange encounter. Yeah, now, this, that was a specific message for those of you who are in a snow area. Okay, um, now for those of you who are not in a snow area, um, I feel like you're going to, uh, oh, okay, I see you at like a um, little coffee shop around the corner. You're getting a drink and love happens. So you're either at a, sh you're either at a coffee shop or you're at like, you know, getting a hot drink somewhere and love comes, love happens. Okay. Oh, yeah, you don't have enough money to pay for it. <laughs> oh, I don't blame you. Stuff's, stuff's very expensive. Um, somebody comes in and it's like, here, I'll get that for you. Or you have enough money to pay for it, and somebody offers to pay for it for you. And, like, I don't know, it's so hallmark. And, like, a little love spark. There's Cupid's arrows, yeah. Oh, Virgo, this whole weekend has to do with love. I mean, it's super fun, though. So it's exciting. Let me see if we can get some initials. Okay, we have the letter U and the letter L. Maybe Lou? Could be somebody's name be L. 1988, 1960, somebody's 47, somebody's 32. Oh, yeah, we got a Lou. If you know a Lou, there you go. Or if you don't, somebody's name is Lou. Or Louise, or Luann, or Lou Lois, or Louis. Okay, September 14th, 1986, August 29th, September 12th, and then we have the letter A, 
Oh, we have two A's here. Okay, so me sharing that after coffee at the diner with someone after an AA meeting or an NA meeting. Okay, 1963, we have the letter P, the letter B, like P, B, and J, and the letter H. Um, somebody plays a harp, I just heard. That could be an I, too. Pib, Pib's root beer? Does somebody like drink Pib's root beer? Or is drinking a Pib's root beer? Or um, something to do with a pub, also. And then I heard bup, B-U-P, bup. Okay, let's see. And KY Jelly, all the way, KY Jelly. Remember the start of the reading? There you go. I'm leaving this here, except I'll just give you a charm. I'll just give you a charm. How about one charm? Oh, there you go. That's actually very cute. So you have a little blue heart. And it's like an icy heart, an ice heart. So not an actual ice heart, but I do feel like there is... Oh, yeah, never mind. It's an icy heart. It's on the Queen of Swords. <laughs> Virgo's, like, <laughs> in pure form. <laughs> when she, when Virgo's talking to other people, Virgo's being the, ice, ice, the Queen of Ice. Um, my heart's cold. Uh, don't talk to me. I just want the truth. Don't tell me anything else. And if I can trust you, then I'll open up and warm up to you. Yeah, that's the energy. <laughs> cold heart warm hands hey virgo all right you guys so i'm going to leave that there for you i hope you enjoy that i hope you have a great weekend i will see you back here oh let's see oh yeah december wait 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 okay december 17th yeah oh my gosh so we have eight days left until christmas yeah so yeah i'll see you back here on the 17th love you love you love you love you bye 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 bye